Tornado, how it forms and why it appears. A tornado is a violently rotating column of air that extends from the base of a thunderstorm to the ground. They are often accompanied by a visible condensation funnel, and can cause significant damage and loss of life. Tornadoes are formed when warm, moist air at the surface meets colder, drier air aloft. This creates instability in the atmosphere, which can lead to the formation of thunderstorms. Within a thunderstorm, strong updrafts of warm air can create rotating columns of air known as mesocyclones. If the mesocyclone becomes more organized and tightens, a tornado can form. As the tornado touches down on the ground, it can cause significant damage and destruction, with winds that can reach speeds of up to 300 miles per hour, 480 kilometers per hour. Tornadoes are most common in the United States, particularly in the central and southern regions, but they can occur in many other parts of the world as well. They are most likely to occur in the late afternoon or evening, and are often associated with severe thunderstorms and other severe weather events. While tornadoes can be very dangerous and unpredictable, there are some steps that people can take to stay safe. These include having a plan in place for severe weather events, staying informed through local weather alerts and warnings, and taking shelter in a sturdy building or underground shelter when a tornado is approaching. Strongest tornado ever happened The strongest tornado ever recorded occurred on May 3, 1999, in Oklahoma, USA. The tornado was part of a larger outbreak of severe weather that affected several states in the central United States. This event, known as the 1999 Oklahoma tornado outbreak, produced numerous tornadoes, including several that were rated as EF5, the highest rating on the enhanced Fujita scale. The strongest tornado of the outbreak, and the strongest tornado ever recorded, was the Bridge Creek Moore tornado, which struck the towns of Bridge Creek in Moore, Oklahoma. The tornado was estimated to be nearly 2 miles, 3.2 kilometers, wide at its peak, and it had wind speeds that reached up to 301 miles per hour, 484 kilometers per hour. The tornado caused significant damage and destruction in its path, destroying or damaging over 8,000 homes and causing over $1 billion in damage. However, due to the early warning and preparedness efforts of local authorities and emergency services, there were relatively few fatalities reported from the event, with a total of 36 people losing their lives. The 1999 Oklahoma tornado outbreak remains one of the most significant tornado events in modern history, and it has had a significant impact on our understanding of tornadoes and severe weather forecasting. What to do if you see a tornado is coming? If you see a tornado coming, it is important to take immediate action to protect yourself and seek shelter as quickly as possible. Here are some steps you can take. Seek shelter immediately. Move to the lowest level of a sturdy building, such as a basement or storm cellar. If you do not have access to a basement or storm cellar, move to an interior room on the lowest level of the building, away from windows and exterior walls. Cover yourself. Protect yourself from flying debris by covering your head and neck with your arms and covering your body with a blanket or mattress. Avoid windows and exterior walls. Stay away from windows, exterior walls, and doors. Flying debris can shatter windows and cause significant injury. Stay informed. Listen to local radio or television stations for updates on the situation and follow any additional instructions from authorities. If you are outside, if you are caught outside during a tornado, seek shelter in a low-lying area, such as a ditch or depression, and cover your head and neck with your arms. Remember that tornadoes can be extremely dangerous and can cause significant damage and loss of life. If you see a tornado coming, it is important to take immediate action to protect yourself and seek shelter as quickly as possible. Stay informed, have a plan in place for severe weather events, and be prepared to take action to keep yourself and your loved ones safe.